teams on Rio, uh, you know, especially, especially FaZe. Outside of that, though, you are 5-2 and two on the year. Uh, and then I think the big thing for New York subliners throughout this stage has been they are the number one rotating team. Those rotations are not turning into points. They are getting broken so quickly, so early on. Let's see what will happen on those early rotations. We're right into the fray. Is Kismet as they all kind of meet and bash heads top mid. This has been one of our favorite maps to cast. I mean, honestly, Rio getting into the rotation was so, so big. We forgot the shape of the league when this got into play. We'll see if we'll have any surprises in the mode and map combination to come out this weekend. But if you're subliners, you're just looking to get off to a hot start, get something rolling, show everybody what you're capable of, but Thieves is going to be a tough test. No, it will be. I think for the opposite side for Thieves, it's sort of like, this is a, a chance for us. This is our map pick. This is how we go up early in the series, put the pressure on a, a top four team, right? So coming out hot here, I think is so important for this Thieves team. We'll see who will be able to do it. Try and shape the series here early on in a map one. But it's early time now for subliners. You'll see the rotation get ready to go. The lock in the bottom right of the mini map. That's where we're going to shift our focus over to. You've got the edge right now if you're LA Thieves. Hydra, though, trying to find entries through mid. Kismet, he's the one pouncing in the back, so he'll be in for now. He's going to have to make the plays. Able to take down two so far. It's Kismet on three in a row, but so weak, he'll be quickly traded out. But it's not going to be easy time here early for either side. Yeah, I mean, you really had both teams spawning on all, all over. Sib, he's on three in a row. He was able to block the back spawn. So you had both teams, one spawning boxes, one spawning out in New York. They recognize this scenario. Krem trying to work the pinch, but they are going to get broken. And that is going to be nice time here for subliners. Well, you had like three in a row for Kismet, four in a row for Hydra, four in a row for Sib all around when this hard point pops. So like when all the big kills came in to try and get some time here, it was all New York and now remains white. You've got left side control and spawns for Thieves now where you might be able to fire back here in 10 seconds on the next hard point. But it feels like you really need to. You got to get something going here with this setup. Yeah, already. Yeah, just sort of pressure on over to Thieves. They don't really have anyone up top middle. So you're not going to have much of an idea of where this push is coming from for New York. Here it comes. Kismet Hydra going to be the first two to go on through. Trade so far working out for Thieves. But here comes guys trying to dis just disrupt. And well, he's going to buy enough time. But with the close spawns, Thieves, they will slow things down. Now try to get pushed on out. And that is a great play out of Joe Deceives. Yeah, if anything, uh, maybe yeah, Sky's kind of delays them getting into their perfect setup allows the troops to get rallied in behind his double but for the most part you've done a great job here multi-kill through for crimp nasty sitting at four and eight looking to get going he's been a solid consistent factor for this team and well the much needed time you're doing great you got 30 points up 20 left that you can try to obtain there's still some fights going in around the point trying to get another multi-kill maybe there is crimp but it's the rest of his teammates picking it up the entire feed red thieves they find the kills. Yeah, I mean, surprising there for New York, right? You go at that with 20 seconds left. You don't opt for a P4 rotation, so now pressure on. But they're going to go right back through. Maybe they want to break through P4, through boxes, and towards the backside. So they push this scrap time, but you already have two players set up at the next hill. They're going to have to read the pinch, though. Joe Deceives able to win it on one side. Nasty on the other three in a row. Trophy down. A great comeback starting here for Thieves. Yeah, I thought with Sib on one side, you had a real nice chance to collapse on this. But you're starting to win some massive ones. If you're subliners, you still have Ghosty in a position to maybe disrupt, but you've got a trophy deep in garage. Just pre-aims right above him. Doesn't see him tucked away there as Kismet, Hydra, locate the kills around the point. And the little flurry you had from Thieves subliners now trying to answer. We'll see if Nasty can maybe be the point man and playmaker. So far, the guy's shooting absolute beams. And this is already such a much better start for New York. They were 12th throughout Major 3 qualifiers behind break opportunities. Already a couple here where they have found, what, 20 to 30 points at P2, at P4. So a much better game plan so far for subliners. We'll see if they can continue to break. You know, you get some better hold from Thieves in some of these spots. <laughs> we might have this score flipping on its head. As we get over to bridge, you've still got one person out nasty. It's trying to watch me to push through and pinch through the flank. Trying to get there and hold will be ghosty. He's going to drop. So once again, you get a foothold into the hard point early. Is all the utility now hitting on the subliners players. As they're looking to hold again, Sky's POV for now, but he is swarmed and hunted down. And again, you had a chance if you were in New York to get an early break, but Joe DeCease is the big two, and he needs that. Feels like the confidence 
to get going throughout this map one. He was 6 and 15, now up to 8 and 15, and this has been one of the, the talking points, right? With J Joe, stage yeah. one, now bringing him back after challengers. He can pop off, but it, it's also this inconsistency he's trying to figure out. Yeah, there's some eyes on him, I think, in this lane. Yeah, to really see if some of the some of the playmaking ability he was bringing to the qualifier he can do here. And speaking of, he's on four in a row now. So Joe Deceives maybe working towards some streaks, but it's Sivin Skies, that dynamic duo in the MCW role that are able to fly over the top. Now five and a row for Joe Deceives. That was number six. So he's able to get the streak, but you're starting to look at a little bit of a hole. Down 50. Yeah, down 50, but you are in control of P1, or at least you have bodies here. Ghosty and Trump with a nice team shot. Now, who's going to go on that pinch? Looks like maybe Hydra number five. You're, you're going to have Joe Deceive watch that for a moment. He knows that that pinch could be available. With his teammates going down, he's going to give it up, and that's going to lead a Hydra double. So you give it up for one second. One of your teammates drops, and now they're going to have to deal with another Bright Thieves at down 50. Let's go to a listen in Los Angeles. You 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 We are back, and you hear one of the final comms that like we need to chain these next two hills. We'll see if they're going to be able to do that, but it's a massive lead right now for subliners. New hard point up, though, in control is Thieves. Chance to hold, ghosty, nasty, leading the way. Yeah, three dead there, and I mean, you just heard throughout the list, and the comms are good, right? You're calling out positions where players are spawning. The problem is, is New York did a fantastic job avoiding the streak, re recovering, still getting a lot of that P2 time, and not allowing Thieves to break on through. So uh, there was just a massive moment there for Thieves with that streak to maybe find an opportunity doesn't happen but here they're able to find the first 35 seconds and as nasty said we're coming back right here now a big rotation it's going to be the first one over towards p4 we'll get set up see if they can continue to rally this back crimps pov now two in a row trying to do more dirty work as all of his teammates dropping it's really just gonna be him lurking what kind of play is he gonna be able to make one little snap back unfortunately gun up he might be able to take that but will end up dropping so some opening time now for nysl a big break chance now for thieves and you saw Joe was maybe trying to work the pinch, but with Kremp dying, they lose those left side spawns. Now trying to set up the 2-2 split here. One player going to spawn out. That's going to be two dead. They need this break quickly. Skies Kismet, though, trying to hold on. Can they at least buy enough time? I don't think so. Behind Kremp, Ghosty, you're able to find the break. They get in because, I mean, Joe Deceives has some tough situations. He's hit 27 deaths. Like, he's been the point man, taking that first gunfight, just getting the gunny, maybe a little bit warm. But he's had some tough, tough situations. They've had to break more often than not, but you are still very much in this game. You'll be down 10 to 20 if you're able to get the remaining time. That's five in a row now for Ghosty as he looks to maybe get a streak. I'll say that's a chow with some confidence, but he's able to get away with his life. Sky's trying to hunt him. Ghosty, great job playing his life. Can he just get a freebie here, trying to bait somebody in? That's really what it is. He's just playing his life right now on rotation. Though. Nasty's able to win the first one, and you are very far from this P5, and there is the crew. So you're down 30 now is LA Thieves. A three-man push through Bridgeside. Comes New York subliners trying to find one more break. A pinch from Kismet, a quick trade from Joe Deceives. This is where he popped off on the first rotation, now within 20. 
Can he go nuts from this spot? First gunfight, not able to take it. You see on X-Ray, all four players getting ready to go. The stun, everything hitting. Trophy eliminated, players dropping. But it's Ghosty and Nasty trying to be the bailout in the back line again. Plus, you've got Crimp to work with. The movement's there, but maybe a little bit of a panic. Melee or T-Rex arms, he's not quite able to hit. Down 14, it's Thieves. And now, what do you want to do here if you are Thieves? You can put some nades on this hill. Do you want to rotate up? Uh, a team nade is in. Maybe you want to contest for this time. Just go for P1 through bridge side. That's going to be the call. They don't want to give up this time. But everyone throwing nades on the hill. On P1, though, <laughs> there's going to be a big one-on-one -on -one with that nade. So Nasty gets one with the nade and wins a rotation. Gunfight setting them up for this P1. Can Nasty be the one to make the play? Now getting them into a solid spot here to hold. You know how much time you can get on this P1, but Kismet just tucking away. The nades have been so big for Thieves. Able to find another. The reads on point for the no contest. Forehead. They're able to get the kill, and Ghosty wins another as the lead change is looming. 15 more to go till they take control. And for Thieves in the clutch scenarios and the hard points, they're one in seven when it's with any 30 point game. Can they flip the script here? And you still have that crew, so they're playing very conservative right now. now not trying to flip for P2. Hydra, though, able to find a double, able to find a triple with the Renetti, but Nasty has been so clutch on this hill. Can't find the third, but will Lee at least allow his team to find the trade and keep this messy. 10 seconds left, a lead change in for Thieves. They're finally out in front now. Can they hold the rest of the way? P2 ready to pop in our next rotation. In position, you'll see subliners are set up. Sib already able to get an opening peak. Here comes the streak. Cruise in. What can it find? You've got Nasty working deep. Nobody really able to pounce quite yet. It's able to get two, though. Outside of the point, and Crimp gets one at the same time, and Thieves come flooding through. Now 20 needed for the victory as this streak hits. Yeah, they just stayed patient inside a lobby. They knew the players had to run inside. They didn't run into them. But Hydra's able to find the first, allowing New York to go quickly towards the hill. The ARs for Thieves to hold the line. That is going to be another four dead. Skies off spawn. Ghosty, five in a row. 37. He is dropping a bomb on the main stage. Ghosty is locked. We'll see if he can get another cruise. Probably not going to need it. The kills are coming through. And Thieves come in and shock map one. lacked the ice in those moments and I said one in seven in those close hard points when it's gotten tight they've not been able to come away with the victory but there they trail all the way to what like 210 210 is where they take over and they don't look back looking like Hercules on the main stage that is an effort from Ghosty what a map I mean 5500 damage nasty right behind him leading the way but 32 non-traded kills. And I mean, you were slaying throughout that entire game was New York, only one player in negative, and it's only by one. It's honestly right at the end of that listening, right? Hearing it from Nasty, we have to hold these two, yeah, and we yeah. are right back into this game. They did just that, plus the cruises. Now, the first one, not very effective. The second time through, because their P2s were not great, but it was able to hit that double. And I mean, that just leads to the control going over to Thieves. No, I love that because we heard in our ear, like our producer, like, all right, pulling us out of this. And we just heard like two more lines right before it went out. And yeah, you just heard it. Let's chain these two together. Like, let's do it when we're in this game. And that's exactly what they did. I mean, I know Joe Deceives on the stat line, it was a tough one, but he was applying the pressure. He was the point man taking fights like that, channeling out, trying to get the opening gunnies, and when he would fall, he'd get info. His teammates would pick up the slack, able to earn a couple of streaks throughout it, but from here is where they really start to take over. They do not look back. And once they get the lead, it's a thing of beauty. And I just loved how patient they stayed on this P1. They knew they had this cruise. Hydra almost made some insane plays, but Nasty held on. And you see, watch number four, number one, they're staying so patient inside a lobby. And then they find those three kills. It does get a little scary because Hydra comes up off spawn, or sorry, where he was avoiding that missile, finds the first. See the spawns coming in. But Thieves just able to hold is another five spree for Ghosty leads them to the victory. Yeah, I mean, Nasty was... 
Ghosty yeah. at that P1. And at the beginning of the end of it, some really clutch moments. And then Ghosty, he's going wild. Every, everyone's on their feet roaring. Ghosty's just chuckling, man. Like, ah, uh, just vibing in this environment is the Toronto venue already ripping and roaring early on. You see there the breakdown from the get go. It is an advantage there for New York, but late. Thieves able to take the lead and just close it out. Yeah, and then really what you see is the second half, right? The, the second P3 and P4, 170, 170. You're getting 27 points over three, four hills. That is where the jumpback comes in there for LA Thieves. As the guns got hot, the streaks came in. And now this is where this gets interesting, yeah. right? Like, if you wanted an upset early in this bracket, it starts with a map one win for LA Thieves because their search and destroy has been on point. I mean, we thought, uh, you know, the, the opener would likely end up being a hard point. That's where you might find an entry just with the struggles that you saw for New York coming into this one. But New York could be, for the most part, look good early. You're up, what, 60 to 80 for the most part throughout our first couple of rotations. And I'm thinking, oh, they've got the edge. Oh, they're going to be clicking. But New York, not enough late in that one. And... Maybe some frustrations on their side, but for those of you at home, maybe looking for an upgrade on controller. We've got a new scuff collection coming at you with the CDL teams, which I imagine we'll be showing here shortly. Yeah, maybe you can get them in the venue too. So if you're looking yeah, no, for no, a new I, scuff. I know, I know the scuff crew was going to be here. I want to check one out because I needed, I was going to get a new one. I saw it was some of the new face plates, I believe. But we're headed to a six star search and destroying for both of these teams. Uh, I mean, just the way the map vetoes worked out. I mean, I think you're happy if you're Thieves. New York only, they've only played this map one time on the opposite side, one and two here for LA Thieves. So you have some of these newer maps where you don't have a ton of repetitions if you are the subliners. Okay, so I realized our screen didn't have the graphic, it was there. So, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I was like, all right, leave me hanging. But no, that's just our screen here. <laughs> have it. Uh, we get this. As long as the people at home saw it. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was like, hold up. Are we, are we showing this thing? All right, right into the map, too. Thieves trying to keep the momentum going, but Hydra, who can just be such a superstar for this squad on the New York side, looking to be the playmaker. Yeah, and I mean, he's kind of struggled throughout this stage in search of destroy. And well, there's going to be a first blood for Ghosty. So one of the big reasons maybe why they're only four and four in search and destroy hydra not having the best stage on the opposite side you are eight and three the number one ranked team in this cdl throughout stage three is the la thieves as we're quickly into a two on two now down to one versus one joe deceives back with the squad sib the newcomer this year with new york and 45 to go it is it is beams as the head gets ripped clean off in range there with the rival sips like what just happened to me i was deleted yeah no it's the rival headshots coming yeah. in uh, i think there's a little flinch there and they see it uh, i mean the headshots in and i think just a huge round for joe to see is a confidence builder for his game to win that one-on-one -on -one versus sib because yeah, he when he's gonna be playing like at the pace he is in a hard point like yes you want him to be brimming with confidence it's one of those positions where you're taking entry fights. They can be so, so stressful. Well, yeah, what a round for him maybe to get him going. And a nice clutch moment. Can just alleviate some of the pressure. So you get the nice one-on-one -on -one win. Now you take it to the offensive side and we're headed to the pool. But it's a great first pick there from Kismet as he'll give them the 4v3 odds. Yeah, just right through the middle. Playing really around this A side, but Tramp trying to start the trades, but Hydra's going to shut it down. A one-on-three quickly for Joe to seize. And this is what you kind of see on Six Star. If the defense is quick on one of the sites, you can pretty much just get hard countered the way LA Thieves did. Well, uh, you already clutched up in a one versus one. Can you do it in a one versus three? And you've got a lot of time here. Like, you're going to be guessing a little bit if you're in YSL and what the position is, how he's going to play this. Same can be said on Joe DeSieve's side as he's just going to be taking his time. Maybe he's, he's trying to catch somebody pushing through. Yeah, he's trying to hope that, like, maybe they just double sprint through the flank here. This is the right call. You see both New York players starting to go over towards A. They're not going to see much. They're going to stay inside of the bar. Joe going to go for a dip, but the timing now might not work out because once they start this rotation, they're going to peek this bomb around yeah. done. Yeah, I mean, you're just, when you have that much time off, like 60 seconds, it's just sort of a, a game We're of cat around mouse together. and also, yeah. also a guessing game. Like, <laughs> he's hoping he baited him off, and he did, but if he's there about five seconds earlier and gets that plant down, things get interesting. Unfortunately, it's right when they start their wrap back. 
Well, New York, I mean, just starts off with the kid's first blood, and once those trades happen, it comes down to Hydra who ends up with that double. Yeah, first I thought Hydra was the guy made, and I was like, how did he get a second? Then I realized he's the one shooting him in the back, because I thought Crimp was going to get two at first. Little I was Hydra that was actually peppering him, so we'll be tied up 1 1 now. We'll trade blows early. And where I feel like when we were casting this in the qualifier, we saw so much action towards A, you know, kind of the smoke retakes. A lot of what we were seeing so far, pull side. It's been the play of choice, and Sib, he's going to be the guy kind of watching the push through, watching the wrap in the flank. He'll be backing up for now as mid control. It's all thieves as they're starting to progress the map. And, and a lot could hang on to this, this player's hands throughout what we've seen watching the flank. And I like this. Just get together with your teammate. That is where the push is going to start for thieves, right through that vent. Who are they going to find first? Are they going to know Sib is here? I think Skies is going to see that, and Sib, well, he's going to pick it up. Turn correctly, find a free double. Two on four, 25 seconds left. Yeah, that'll work out. Uh, he's getting everybody a Sib. He's now on three in a row, picking them apart. Final kill through. It's a clean one there for subliners in the post plant. But uh, yeah, Sib, whose job was watching the push through, it suddenly became uh, annihilating the entire team. And it could be tough. I mean, we've seen teams sort of start to hit that flank to retake B time and time again. I just feel like there's so much to clear on that side of the map. So many corners, so many angles. It feels like teams started to get away from it towards the end of the qualifier because of that. Like, one bad timing and you're just toast. Yeah, or we've seen players like... I think like Attach has played like a lot deeper on it, like didn't sync up like closer to his team like Sib did. He's playing like really deep on the flank and somehow it, you end up being a little late trying to scramble across to help, but Sib was there like as the point man basically that started to develop. So it works out beautifully. Heads should collide now at mid. And they do. Joe deceives with the first blood. Yeah, just some tough timing there for Kiz. Doesn't check his close corner. So able to find the first blood. And now Kremp has been working a late flank this entire time. Poolside, he's going to find the first. Someone's just hanging out, though. That's going to be Hydra. Now he's going to poke out. He's able to win it. And there we go. A quick round. Starts with that first blood. They wait on Kremp on that rotation. They know the player pool, if they have that ace set up, is going to wrap on back. And then they did. The offensive team's kind of dictating the pace here and handling business through these last couple of rounds. As we get ready to go deeper in this, but nice first blood there from Joe Deceives. Both teams kind of getting the job done behind their first bloods. Yeah, I mean, New York playing a lot more sort of uh, mid-aggressive. We're on the opposite side for LEDs. It's sort of just been a, a back and forth. Which site do we want to stack? So we'll see if that keeps up. And I think, yeah, I think you just have to allow them to, to plant over towards A. It feels like that can be at times a little bit easier to retake. Well, easier yeah. running through a smoke and seeing how it works out. If that's helpful to find easy. <laughs> it's Sib, and he's able to pick up another first blood. This one is second in this map, too, but pretty quickly traded. So to a 3v3, they're able to isolate Nasty in the back and out. Head back towards the site. Some damage done with the nade, but it's going to be on Ghosty and Krimp now to clutch in this two versus three. But I think they got two players like half health behind I, the utility. I mean, they know this, right? As soon as they push on through, they see Nasty is the only player here. The other two are probably towards mid, and Ghosty just gets some awful time. He is Krimp. He was hitting through mid. Uh, so New York with uh, a heads up play, kind of just bait the bomb out and focus on the player towards A. I think the timing of like his step there and being out of ADS, like that was insane. He probably, I mean, he probably gets traded, but at least gets one, gives a chance here for Crypto Clutch. Still an opportunity though. Still He's so patient as New York, just not planning. They don't want to give up a free body. Just waiting on these thieves players in these scenarios, and it works out again. Yeah, I mean, they catch both players, they don't get a bullet off. Just do it, catching with the timing, kind of rotating across, or just maybe getting a little bit antsy. A little bit of like a YY or a swap there happening. And Hyde, you're able to put him down. Is this is a guy that, you know, is just itching to get back to being a contender. Been a superstar in the league since he joined, and... I mean, he's actually had some vulnerabilities, I feel like, over the past qualifier for the first time in a while. Like, he's looked, looked an invincible god. But, I mean, this is where they, I don't know, it just feels like they get better and better. Their online search, they try out some things, and then they prep so hard for the majors. You don't say after the last major? Yeah. Oh, he stopped shooting. That is a tough one. Doesn't finish the kill. Sib some damage in and somebody swan diving across the front, but he's not able to finish it. So we'll continue on this one versus three. Goes through with a bit of pre-fire there. Some damage in. We'll slow down his route. Now you have to try and retake this in a 1v3. 
Nade nearly there to greet him. A million things to clear. Now they're just toying with their food, able to drop him, and a revenge round there for three thieves. They're tied up. See, we're all human. We all we all go through this, but oh, yeah. Dude, when you're snapping, think about the next fight. Yeah, Jismit right. just stops shooting, even right there. I mean, there's a chance that's a one versus one, where it's Tim, if he finds one more bullet, I think on a ghosty who is diving down the stairs, we're in a one-on-one -on -one. instead. It's a one on three, but Skies kicks things off and yeah, just stop shooting so close. One more bullet. Maybe he would be able to find another after that, but leaves Sib by his lonesome. Yeah, he's jumping up. You're hitting him in the knee with some of the bullets. You know, it's all a muscle memory thing. You kind of heal it here, feel the hit markers, and you move on. Just not quite enough. I bet he was 1 HP. <laughs> Very much 1 HP. Whoa, -oh. one close. Hydra, though, he's got the kill. Nasty will drop out of this one. Sib once again gonna kind of be the offside guy. Dealing with a potential push through. You saw that when they were working B as well. We'll see if Win Hill come into play, but when he did it from the other side, he came in and killed three. Again, just look how patient this New York team is being, right? Sib's just kind of hanging out. Everybody else is just slow waiting on some sort of movement. And, I mean, on a map like Six Star, it makes sense. This is what teams are doing where, okay, we have to hit a flank. Let's just try to catch them off quickly instead new york playing this very patiently on the other side though these are pretty much saying go a or, or go b we're gonna give this up hope you go a Kremp brings it back do you check this he does hydra able to win it rip the 46 by ghosty skies wins another tough one on the other side of it joe deceives last one to get involved and he will lose it thought Kremp gave him a chance but Hydra and Skies winning big one-on-ones. Yeah, I mean, just to be ready for that angle right there from Hydra to hit that slide when he does, then pushes through his own smoke as he's up to eight and four. It just feels like you, when you watch his point of view, he just knows more than yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, I, there's been stretches where he seems automatic for like double digits in search and destroy. Hasn't quite been in that form as we got into this major, but as you said, work on some stuff throughout the qualifier. I think their their struggles were a lot more than just working on some stuff, but maybe for search and destroy that can be true, but obviously not looking to be three and four <laughs> coming into this. Let's see if New York can maybe find some separation. Teams just struggling to get a little bit of cushion here in this search and take a two round advantage. Kisman, I believe, got eyes there for just a moment on the head of Ghosty. Nasty kind of your island guy, either working a late flank or just sort of watching the flank for now. But this is open. That's why Kremp is wrapping back. They know mid's open. This is going to be a wrap because Nasty's not seeing anything. And Kremp with the MCW, able to win the gunfight. Joe with the shoulder, able to find another one trying to hit this pinch. And there we go. It has been all this patience on the offensive teams. None of these quick plant rounds. Waiting to see what the defense takes and then finding picks on both sides. And it feels like the patience has led to so many awkward timings for the team. <laughs> Just these awkward gunfights where they're okay, not going to hold on now. Suddenly you bring uh -oh. it back. Things falling apart. Ghosty in a one versus three. The plan will get down, but now he's got a clutch. Kismet, Sip. Not able to take the first. Kismet able to win it. I'm sorry, the one versus two. But that nearly. That's one of those rounds where you kind of circle, right? We would be at 4-4 now. New York's going to be one round away for tying this series up. For these teams who are just trying to find S&D wins versus these top four, it's rounds like this that somehow these top four teams are just able to pull out. Clutch on up. Let's catch a timing with somebody on the bomb. Numbers quickly flip. And yeah, that separation, I said nobody's able to get. Now you're able to go up to if you're New York and a round away from tying this one up but that one is painful you know you let one slip there can you brush it off and continue forward well, i don't even know how that happened I mean, just yeah they find those timings and you're <laughs> one player still on the bomb i, I feel like it, 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 this map like just this particular matchup has been some absurd timings both ways and that's call of duty in a nutshell sometimes but the president's outsword mid there again has been on three straight at five and four able to get out to his spot now he's going to pop instantly traded out so 
He'll get the first blood, but with 3v3, we go quickly. Yeah, but look where Hydra is already. He was the one man over towards A. He cleared out Secret. He pushed up towards A. Now they have to worry about him on the opposite side. Sib is all by his lonesome middle of the map. You're not planning this bomb yet because you don't want to get caught. You know how spread out you are. Yeah, this looks it, insane it, on the map. It, now, if you're thieves, this is where you just have to be patient. You have to be more patient than them. And I don't know how it's going to work out. Maybe now okay, Nasty gets on through. Dude. That could be huge for them. Hydra in this spot to lurk. He pounces. You're at least able to trade it. You don't let him get two because that likely would have sealed the game. Now to two versus two we go. 30 on the clock. On opposite sides of this are Nasty and Ghosty. A big win there from Siv. All down to Nasty now. Last alive with 25 to go. Spots one in the back. Damage in, but the gig is up. Siv now to Chow. Tries to send it forward. Can't quite win it. And NYSL able to answer back as they take over late in the search and destroy. I mean, they just played with such patience, waiting on uh, oh, yeah. trying to find openings, waiting on certain movements out of LA Thieves. And I guess if you were a New York fan coming into this major, a little worried about their search and destroy, that is a great sign for you. Still showing their prep is on point. And I think that's a good thing to do, like after how that map one went, right? It's a crazy map one, like crowds on its feet roaring, like you know thieves are all amped up, like, okay, let's slow it down. Let's take it to a snail play, a snail space. Put your foot on the brakes a little bit. Make him make some decisions. You put up 2,100 damage, nearly 2,200 if you are Sib. A little bit. They literally had the emergency break, John. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't moving. You really, you really did. You really did. And then just finding so much room was Hydra. Like every offense, it just felt like he was able to, even just right there, that last round, get all the way into the defensive spawn. And you saw, right, Na Nasty has to check so much on the pinch. The other two guys are trying to find Hydra. It just takes so much time. But who knows how it goes that round eight goes a little bit differently, right? Like, I mean, you got the you got the first blood. Um, you're in a you're in a decent spot getting the bomb planted. You think you maybe have that round in the bag in the round eight, and then things kind of fall apart. You get caught with an awkward timing. Nobody able to clutch up with like a big trade, and then, I mean, that, that one you could tell to see when you saw the faces of like Ghosty and the guys after that round. I was like, oh. No. I mean, that's how Ghosty looked after map one, so I don't know. I, I think my man's just locked in right now. <laughs> just sat there smiling. Ghosty <laughs> is absolutely locked. He puts up a monster map one. Absolute dominant effort, but NYS able to brush that off and answer back in the map two. This will now be tied up 1-1. One, one. We head to Invasion Control next. Way back after this quick break. Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. SCUF Gaming is doing an ultimate giveaway where you and a friend can win a chance to go to COD Champs this year. The giveaway includes two VIP tickets, travel expenses, and more. To enter, scan the QR code on the page or go to scuff.co slash CDL and enter your email. Terms and conditions apply. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
Hello, Toronto, to those in venue, those outside, those at home, family members, pets, and all your dear loved ones. We're ready to keep it rocking here as we've got a 1-1 series. It's day one here of Major 3. Uh, we've got some incredible round one matchups. We thought this one was going to be exciting, and so far, so good. Now, as we look forward to the control, Joe, between these two squads, uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm a little nervous. I think if you're a Thieves fan, okay. uh, this has just not been your map. Uh, you kind of have this choice, right? Are you going to play New York on high rise? I would say no. I think they're the best high-rise control team in the world. Uh, they've beaten FaZe multiple times on it. So you have to offer Invasion. Uh, and Invasion for them is their own four throughout this stage. It just, there's so many round five losses for them. And then New York is one of the best, if not the best, attacking control team that we have in the league. Well, Joe, you know how I mentioned like that one in seven hard point stat. Yeah, well, okay, that got better. So, yeah, that got better. Okay. It's one in eight, I believe, in the round fives yeah. in control. So they have been awful there. But when they get to map fives, they're really good. <laughs> so we got to get there. Yeah, so we might have to get there. Or maybe they clutch up and they kind of flip the script like they did in the no, map No, I mean, one. they're going to a deep in these maps, and they have chances on, on attacks. Like, you're going to the round fives. So, yeah. so you're very far, but it's just you're, you're not winning those. And it can be tough against this New York team. As I said, they can be one of, if not the best, attacking control team that we have. We'll see if they can bring the thunder in this one. Nice little back down now for Sim. And we know on this map in particular, like we'll keep an eye and try to highlight sometimes when we're not watching that POV, like those, sometimes those A side one on ones and how big they can be to open things up. But so far, as you deal with Skies, pretty normal here on this front. Just stacking around B1 flank going to come through. Joe Deceive's trying to play spoiler, and he is able to do that. Gets two, Ghosty gets the third, and you get the all clear. At least for now, with about a tick and a half done and a minute on the clock. Yeah, they're able to find skies. They clear out mid tank, so you really just have nothing. As Joe to see is leading the way, he was uh well up to five and one. Sky's gonna fight right on back though, with two to get broken control. You've only dealt with a tick, so New York gonna have to fight this. A lot of the times though, they, they leave one on this. They try to get Kismet Hydra pushed on up. But mid map control has gone a thieves' way, and they've just been kind of flooding through connector time and time again. Yeah, outside of skies, like in the very early going, it's pretty much okay. Been this is what you get this though. Street. But yeah, now you're able to get all the kills. Kind of battle of attrition on the site ends up working in their favor. You're down a life, but now you're starting to get in good positions. He's been trying to get to the back line, able to take out one, but gets snipped out pretty quickly and. Well, Nasty unfortunately takes out Joe, deceives uh, the wave of an explosion. Okay, so Hydra's able to hunt down that player pushing up a street. So you don't really have a lot of defenders pushed up on the map. You can see all the red arrows. This is what NYSL try to do. Try to keep you all the way to towards back gas on the A point. That means one, three, or four dead. You're immediately on it. And this is when we cast the Thieves that they were guilty of. Remember, it was like two, like three downs. Like Ghost was the last guy up. It costed them in a round, like throughout the course of it. Way just had like that straight three, four down type scenario and suddenly things fall apart. Skies, by the way, close to earning a streak as he's on five straight looking for number six. But can you avoid that type of situation? Maybe keep Joe Deceives hot because he is shooting right now. Maybe needing another bullet. His skies peeking him. Nobody wants to give him number six. Yeah, but you finally get yourself some room uh, as you're able to push out Josie. He's able to find one. That player again got hunted down earlier by NYSL, but now Thieves have some room to work with, some map to work with. Sky's 11 HP. Gonna go for the reach out, trying to work this with Kiz. Off spawn though is Kremp. Will take him down. Hydra though, trying to get on the point with the MCW. Has it able to win it? Now pressure on. LA Thieves is slate around him. They do just that and they deal with the player on the point. Yeah. I Maybe he was a rival there. Maybe he'd be able to make some kind of crazy play. We've, we've seen that before, but not able to get much done after the first. And now you deal with the guy A side. So we're able to push up again. You win that one one on one. And suddenly Kismet able to get right onto the point and stop the clock. So 22 seconds remaining. 10 versus 10. Pressure on Thieves now to deal with the position that Kismet has got to. Sip winning one. It sounded like a cruise was in. So, uh, they was that must have heard cruise? It. That's, what that's why I actually stopped talking for a second. I was like, did I hear the cruise? Yeah, it sounded like it was in and it, it just missed. So they get him on the point, but then they all died. So a great recovery by Thieves. They were in a three dead scenario. You had players on the point. The cruise was in. Ghosty, a nice little turn and burn. It's a bit of a, a dirty round, a messy round. You, you give up a tick on A, but you win it if you are Thieves. And you're glad it ends right there because I think you were like three down and they were starting to march on forward. So it might have been another terrifying moment but you're able to hold on and yeah i didn't i i actually like cut myself up and said that he died i was like did i hear the streak go off i didn't see where it hit 
Thought he died, honestly. Yeah. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Okay, so we can see the cruise. We're going to check that out in the replay real quick, I believe, and just see maybe where that hit. So it hits towards what? back ass. Wow, Krem somehow avoided that. I, I don't know if it, that is just the barricade from, I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, it's like spawn protection. Yeah. Like, it survives that. Yeah, maybe it's spawn protection. But Yeah, that's tough. Okay, so that's where it ends up hitting. Because that would have been the first player who chowed the player on A. Yep, yep, that might have been a massive difference. So maybe frustrating there if you're in YSL, but the fact is... It's a Thieves victory in the opening defense. Now what can they do on offense? Already getting aggressive. A-side street will be number eight. That'll be Skies. And they'll like to get to aggressive spots more often than not for NYSL. And he's eventually going to work this flank. We'll see what kind of disruption he'll bring. Yeah, now does Krep recognize that they're working this pinch? He's going to have to worry about him first. Is Skies. Joe deceives inside of Broken, just trying to play his life. But there's the pinch from Skies. A quick trade, though, will be there from Ghosty. But you don't have beat control. So you see number two starting to cheat on over towards the A Street. You're hoping Kremp can find one here. But while there's one on B, there's two inside a cafe. Now just down to one. They should know that A was kind of the street was wide open. Because Skies pushed through and drop. You're now able to get on this for a second. Spawner may be able to deal with it. Beer on now. The forces for a little bit. Now things start to fall apart. The one player trying to make a play will be Sib. He'll have a one-on-one -on, -one on one side. Oh, Kremp won it. Down the Kremp won it. wins the one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to have three on this. Trophy uh -oh. down, trophy down as well for Thieves. A great transition started by Krep and Ghosty. But Hydra there with the Renetti, him and Kingsman able to find all three. This does open up B though, so New York's gonna have to try to defend this for a little bit more. The show to see is putting some pressure on, but you have the take advantage yeah. if you get the B point done. Yeah, I mean, you'd love to get all of A. Obviously, that likely leads to a round win. You're up 2 0, and this one might be dumb, but still a lot of damage done there in that moment. I was kind of wondering, like, if Sky cheats across, usually somebody else has got to pick up the A Street or somebody's going to get across for free. And everybody else ended up dropping. Now you have to track back towards A again. Now can you win it on the B side? 30 seconds to go. Kismet, Bulldog, able to hit with the pistol there, down to 2 HP, but he'll win it at 14 and 9. And now it's still a little bit of a scary moment because you still want to finish B and at least get the minute extension, but I guess at least you got four ticks, yeah? Yeah, you're at least tied in the take out of yours, but yeah, you'd love to, to have that advantage. But it doesn't look like New York's going to allow them to get out of this spawn trap. You just see, was that nine kills in a row? Sib looking for number 10 in terms of their team slaying. He's able to find it. Doesn't find the streak, but New York recover. I'll tell you what, that's a hell of a recovery because you deal with a potential threat to lose A entirely, but you come in, what Hydra able to get to, you get the three-man clean sweep and you deal with it because in that moment, you're kind of going for the jugular if you're Thieves. Then the fact that you don't allow them to even get B, I mean, that is magnificent, but we're gonna see Hydra's play here. As he gets across. Oh man, the stun hit. Joe Deceives hit the oh. stun and just watch the pinch. And I think due to his position, Joe's position, nobody's picking up the pinch. They're hoping that he's able to get them a comm, but maybe he's like behind the Humvee or throwing a nade where Hydra just able to sneak on through. Well, now we see how it played out. And yeah, great recovery there from YSL to keep us tied in the ticks department. And one you would think, nine out of 10 times, Thieves are probably gonna walk away with an advantage. Let's see if NYSL can improve on their early effort in around one. Skies is on four straight, I believe, before he drops. And progress now starting to happen at B. Pushing on forward is Ghosty, who tries to find an angle, maybe to disrupt the, disrupt the reinforcements. He's able to get one, but looks like he was effectively traded out. Yeah, and I mean, if Joe's able to win that one through connector, then you would start to retake on B, but now it's going to be tough. You're going to have multiple members from New York on the point, picking up that connector. Sky's off spawn, just going to play safe. Now you can have a very quick transition, but Nasty able to take it. Able to take mid-tank control, fine too. Yeah, now we get some more of our, our standard setup. Granted, you get some early pressure. You're doing some now. massive gunfight wins that Hydra's doing. On to four straight, but B is done. Two minutes to go to work A, and you've got somebody onto it. So this transition ends up being remarkable. How much damage can you now do? And you're sort of lurking, maybe waiting for the trophy to come oh. up. Uh, but the trophy's gonna blow up to the first Simtex that came through. Hydra still working, though. There's a streak earned as well, up to six straight.
Yeah, but Trimes able to find two, so maybe that slows things down. A bit of a lifeline here for Thieves. So there's only two members on it. Hydra up to seven. You do have that cruise two players off a of spawn. Thieves gonna try to put some pressure on both sides, but they have to go. I don't know if they're gonna get here in time. And we talked about how good New York's offense is, and they show you right here. Again, the transition, and it's Hydra who's able to make the play, find them so much space to work with. Well, yeah, I, I, the first thing I said was like, this is sort of more like a standard setup because they went two for two after they got beat. So I'm thinking, okay, but then Hydra wins like his next two or three gunfights and suddenly it's like, oh my God, they're getting across to A now with a little to know. Okay, well, I mean, there were some roadblocks, but Hydra has bashed on through them. Yeah, and then he just stayed patient. So clean. I didn't think with like two players dead, that was going to be as clean as it was. Yeah, I mean, then he just stayed patient inside a laundry and waited for his teammates and, and hits the flank. Just so much pressure on the point. I mean, you have an incredible recovery if you're subliners, then you have an incredible rebound and answer. I mean, that was remarkable there. And Hydra's he's, still going. He's doing whatever he wants. Nine straight for him, 18 and 14. One of the true superstars in our league is we're up to double digits. The man is a threat. The French sensation make it look easy. He's got both weapons in his hands. He's literally a super soldier. Now you have the trap set up again. You look at the, the position of number seven over towards the tractor and thieves. What do you want to do with this? You have to deal with skies first. Then maybe that opens up a Kismet though has his cross. The teamwork right now on point for New York subliners. Yeah, they got the protractor out. They're set up angles. Like, they've got <laughs> these guys locked in. It seems they've got nowhere to go. How good this look for Thieves, what feels like two to three minutes ago, and how it has flipped on its head is remarkable. The streak's still going. Give him 12. A dozen up, 13. The man hitting everything in front of him. Yeah, rival out. Why not? Still leads to an assist there. Sib able to pick up the kill. This has been a stretch for the age. He's got 14. Looking for 15, hungry for more. This is unreal. I mean, if we had more time to play with, maybe, maybe we get a nuke, but I don't know if that's going to happen. You have the crew still if he wants to use it. Thieves just with no room to breathe. Not only is it 14 in a row, there was also another nine from his teammates. There is the cruise. Thieves finally get out. A nade hits, the cruise hits. Point eight seconds, and New York dominate invasion. And that just felt like a lightning strike. Like, you you can have that great A play if you were thieves. You've got two ticks on, we're thinking, oh my God, they can go up 2-0 in this. Then of course it's Hydra that comes in and is able to get two in that situation and make the play. And from there, the guy doesn't die again. Just goes bananas. Like he makes that play to get them out and then just goes on a tear it's done. And that has been the strength of New York, has been this control, and they show you why. This man especially, I don't know what he finished with, 15 or 16, because his crews, and yeah, he, he's got the kill streak record, no, no doubt about it. I mean, the one that was coming to my mind was what, except the final at 13, I believe it was. So I was thinking 14's got to get us some, to some scary territory. The, the streak doesn't count on top of it. Well, sorry, the cruise missile. So it ends at 14, but still truly unbelievable stuff, a heroic effort. I mean, it was Ghosty putting on the map one respawn that was putting up absolute numbers here. It is going to be Hydra. 4K damage, 24 and 14, 14 streak. And I think the number two, it's sort of wow. the, the, the six objective kills, but also 12 offensive kills, right? Because again, every time they get that one player on the B, they get a couple of kills. That is when he just goes and it feels like he's better than anyone else. And sort of catching players off spawn as they transition over towards that eight point, time and time again. It started off so well for Thieves. I think we've seen so many players when we've casted that. Like, I mean, a Shotzi comes to mind or a Nero. Sometimes you've seen, like, on this particular map and mode where, like, they get some breathing room in around the mid-map, and they just have the timings on point. It feels like they've read every play, every spawn, every movement, and they're just gun up and ready for it. Hydra seems to do it a lot more often. <laughs> He just seems to be so consistent. He was 5-11 and 11 at that point we just saw. Like, right. it, it didn't start off well for him at all. No, no. Well, I mean, yeah, I kind of figured that's the case. When you're 24 and 14, and you had a 14 spree. That, that might be how it went. But, my God, the guy just goes on an absolute tear on the map. Had both guns to work with. Was frying everything. His teammates kind of bailed him out in a few moments where maybe he was going to drop or in a tough position. But... Just a superstar performance there in the map three. And now suddenly after the 
big map one win from Thebes. You're in a one-two hole, and you're going to have to get both hard points here to push to map five. But that's nice probably team, where bro. you're most susceptible to the losses right now if you're subliners. Yeah, and this is a, a Vista hard point where you have a couple of reps if you, you are New York, but LADs, I, I believe, what is it, five times they've played this map throughout major three qualifiers. So this should be a, a go-to for them. And now New York, the one time that they lost, that it was that crazy comeback last Sunday versus Ultra. They were up like... I don't even remember. It was an insane one, like 100 plus points on this Vista they threw away. So you have some reps, ones you probably should have won. But these, this has been a go-to for them. What was the one where they came out and had like the 252, 49 victory run? Was that six star? That was six star, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I knew one of the new maps that came in, like the first time we saw him, I was like, okay, well, all right. Make it a statement early, but we've had a lot of great additions to the map pool over the course of the year. What looks like absolute frustrations made for this squad after the map won, all vibes and smiles. I mean, we've talked to Skies over the years, how crucial it is for, he just, you know, some people like, he, like big competitors, like they're, you know, I don't care if I'm teaming with my friends, like I just want to have absolute weapons on the map. We'll bump heads at times that so you think back to, I don't know, a complexity roster or something. Some people kind of want to play with people they get along with, they're friends, they vibe, they win together. And that's all these kind of the vibe I got from this New York team. And man, they're battling through some tough spots this year, but here fighting. Yeah, and then stay on the deep side. It's right, just figuring out this roster. The one good thing for them is, that, all right, we can bounce back from con control losses because we've had a lot of them. Uh, just that game mode <laughs> invasion control <laughs> in general has not gone their way. So we'll brush it off. Let's lock in for this map. Yeah. <laughs> they have a lot of experience losing control. So, yeah, yes. they're ready to bounce back. No, Especially no, Invasion. Yeah, no, they've had to win a lot of map fours for the fact that you won, what, three straight map fives? What the... Then I think the fourth series when you lost with a map five, right? Yeah, like yeah, it was just map fives all over the place. Can they get us to another map five? Map four, rearing and ready to go as we head to Vista, Thieves, and YSL. We get deeper and deeper into this series. Now, the only thing I'd be worried about, right, is just sort of the momentum carrying from that map three. Sort of the guns, the, the way Hydra was playing, it's easy to find a double. And almost a uh, quick four dead for Thieves, but that's a Bidosi who repositions, try to contest, and get on the point. But you have to control middle of the map on this one. These P1s, P2s have been so important on Vista. It's like screwed. He's carrying his spree over. He's on 16, maybe 17 <laughs> yeah. in a row now. <laughs> Let's just carry him. But now he, I think he has a 3 0 start before he drops there. So, Hydra bringing it in this one early. So far, every point the way of NYSL is the flurry of bullets and flame continue here top mid. Nice little pop up there by Skies. Able to take it with 11 HP. And now we'll think about the rotation across with five seconds left. Not a point on the board yet for Thieves. And not in a great position here with the next hard point ready to pop. No, you already have Kismet starting to uh, transition on over with the help of Sim. Nice teamwork. Skies is going to rotate in through top middle. And this is what you have to control if you are LA Thieves. It's start to work this break. Watch Kremp and Joe deceives. Here we go, through the middle of stairs. It goes Kremp, Nasty's gonna reposition, find the angle, and finally get some time. Sometime, yeah, three seconds. Now we'll see if they can find some bit more, but all the kills continue to go the way of subliners. They try to find the shots across. You're able to get back in now. Try to work this as Ghosty. Looking over the top, trying to get shots in. You'll see the big rotation already coming in, top side of the map. That'll be Kismet already getting in position for the big three and four that are upcoming with 15 seconds remaining here on second. Yeah, now Nasty's going to realize this. NYSL going to spawn on up with Skies. He's going to find the first one. Josie does find two as he spawned out. He'll be in a free pinch. So you fight back here. What, you get 30-plus seconds on this P2, but you do lose the rotation. Yeah, it seems like so far, I mean, you've been pretty proactive if you're subliners. You've been a step ahead. You've been very reactive if you're Thieves. You're having to continue to try and make plays to get back into the game. When can they flip the switch a little bit? Because if it continues like this, I know they're only down 15, but it's a very brutal cycle. <laughs> if it continues, we're always trying to fight through and just get in the tail time. But now you come up with the kill to get into the point. Crimp able to find one. The other one-on-one, -on -one, though, goes the way of Skies. Sib gets him out of the point, and suddenly you're right back in. And again, yeah, I mean, you were number one rotation team, but your hard point really struggled. Did New York subliners online this time on these rotations? Not only are they winning them still, they are also starting to work, win those early gun fights that lead to time. You'll be down, what, 60 or so with the rest of this time? Well, maybe not the case because they've got to rally back into the point. But where you're spawning right now, if you're thieves, not ideal with the next hard point getting ready to go. It really feels like you are going to need a break here soon. 
before you get into a big hole. Maybe a chance for some streaks as well. There's number six, Sib, able to run the cruise. Pop it up as well. Baby, give me a triple. Not quite there. We'll get two, though, and the streak as Sib leading the lobby there in 11. Is now his hard point. Four pops, all the position in the world. Over to subline over here come thieves. Yeah, same story. First 12 seconds, not even contested here. You have the position that you want. You're controlling top middle, almost four dead. Joe able to win that one. But now you have to stop inside a burger, does Joe. Wait for his teammates off spawn. And Hydra, he's going to try to blend up some of the thieves. Only finds one, but has all the info on where this push is coming well, from. Yeah, I mean, when you have those opening 12 seconds, what's it mean? I mean, usually, probably, Hydra and Kismet able to get to their spots. Like, push out a little bit, get to a cut they want to get to, give themselves a favorable, like, shotgun type fight where they'll put the rival down somebody's throat. Lead was approaching 100 for a second, but chipping away at this, just trying to stay in the fight is Thieves. They've been a resilient bunch. You can tell that by all the game fives. When can they swing this in their favor? Because the maps look like this every hard point. No, and that's props to Kismet. He did it on P3. He's done it here now on P5. The, the guy is playing so heavy for his rotations to put his team into a great spot, and it has led to this lead. They try to build on it here. Just playing off the back foot this entire time has been Thieves. When can you maybe dictate the pace? And maybe it's a three down like that. You can get in. You've needed a break. They're able to do it and able to push forward. Control it from the side of the map. You want to lock it down from. Joe Deceive's able to send it forward. Now he's able to get aggressive as he's on four straight. Wants to keep the gunny going. Not quite able to get back to full HP. Trophy out for covers. And the pistol is a pop. And back-to-back -back headshots there for Nasty. Finally, some time to write home about, but still 20 seconds remaining in the point, and that's going the way of New York. Yeah, but with what we saw from Rio, right, sort of chaining two hills together, this is the chance for Thieves. Control this P1. You get fined 50 or so seconds, get right back into the game. Well, so some key gunfights here for Thieves. I mean, it feels like everything kind of started off the back of that first hard point in the rotation to B2. Like, they were just a step behind the rest of the way. It's just a cycle you get in. This is where you can flip the script. You're absolutely right. You get a reset here at P1. You try to start to bring things back into your favor, your chance to do it. And granted, even though they've been behind like all these rotations, they're in the game. You're down 55. It's not that bad. Well, now it might start to look okay. a lot worse. Yeah, yeah you, you get Oops. broken. Hydra Sib able to work on through with the help of Kismet. And you're going to have to break this P1 setup. Hydra in a great position on this pinch, but New York one map away from closing out this series. Let's go to a listen in with the subliners. One shot bridge, one shot bridge, one shot I'm helping him. No, he's just stay, stay close. Okay, you two, last time you went in behind him. Last time you went in behind him. I couldn't have got time. Burger, we can fuck him. Yeah. Burger and vines. Burger and vines. Burger and vines. Burger. Even a little burger or something. You still have burger. One shot burger, I'm coming. I'm absolutely, absolutely. One shot the burger, I'm coming. Nice. I'm sun mid. Mid. Tough stack, tough stack. I'm gonna get lower. I'm gonna get lower. I'm gonna get lower. I'm gonna get left. I'm gonna get left. I'm gonna get left. They can be if you want now. I'm looking lower. Yeah, I'm watching my short. One time, we're gone. Right on time. Left. They can't go left. It went under burger. They can only go P1. They can only go P1. It went under burger on time. It could be low. It could be low. No, no, I have low. Yeah, I have low. It could be low. Tower, tower, only one bullet. Nasty. One shot to tower. Dead. Nice. One shot to hold. One shot to hold. Outside, outside, down. Nasty, nasty, and Joe. Let me see one. Let me see one. Top tower, top tower, top tower, nasty. Top tower, top tower, nasty. I have all left from time. I have all left from time. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. Go see, go see someone else. Hold the right, hold the right. Yeah, but go see. Give me counts. Give me my count. Curve, curve, curve. One more one more on the right. One shot, one shot on the right. The comms on point, the boys gas at each other and so far have the advantage. But Thieves still, they just hung around this game, kept it within 50 or 60. It's just that one chaining moment, like you mentioned time and time again. Can they do it? Can they rally? Can they take the lead? Because remember, they trail all map one. 
Yeah, but this guy's just making plays. That's sort yeah, of the problem. Sure a anytime there's maybe an opening, it's Hydra with a two-piece. He's up to 30 already in the map. You do get the streak out. You're able to hold on to P2, at least split it behind the streak. But honestly, New York have been fantastic at these P3s. Again, controlling spawns, forcing thieves to break time and time again. It can just put so much pressure on you in sort of these scenarios. They have to go now. You get Sky spawning out, but New York finding all the slays that you need. That is going to be four dead. And you're spawning out Narnia now, trying to track across. One's going to spawn kind of split in Joe Deceives, which he might find an opening, but there's 35 seconds remaining on this. They're going to pick it up and they're going to drop him. Yeah, so they Sib Reddit. Hold. Yeah, Sib Reddit. It's one of those spawns that can happen near P3. But they know it. They're on point on Vista. Kismet now on five in a row. And again, they just have not allowed the break to come through. Or if there's been a break, like you said, Hydra makes a big play. You're able to earn another streak now. One HP is Kismet. He's got a cruise to use. It's already bailed him out once. Maybe another chance to do it if needed. But you're going to be at, what, 235 or so on the scoreboard. And now you've got to basically be perfect if you are thieves and you got to deal with the cruise. Yeah, you see Kiz just kind of hanging out. Team. Now, Hydra does die when they call this in, so this might not turn anything. That's going to be two dead. Maybe you get him off the time. You're just going to find one on the pinch. Try to work it with Skies on the flank. But Jodeci is able to win the gunfight, so you, you deal with that for now. But Hydra through the middle of the map alongside Sib, and that is going to be three dead. Okay, maybe the streak doesn't get you a ton, but the gunny does. They collapse. And where Thieves have struggled on the breaks at times, Subliners make it look easy. Kismet still on seven in a row. It was a streak from Hydra in the map three. There was the difference. Kismet going monster mode here late. Just two seconds need, and they can lock down this series. But you get in, you keep fighting if you're Thieves, trying to stay in the hunt. Just two more points needed, though. This would have to be some unreal yeah, Call of Duty yeah. uh, breakdown. We certainly have not seen. You are winning these gunfights on rotation. Finally, if you are LA Thieves, maybe a little bit late, there's a chance here to get set up at P1. Well, yeah, I mean, if they get a flawless hold here, oh, well. maybe there's a chance, but everyone's starting to drop. Really one player remaining, he will fall in goes Hydra. 38 for Hydra. A monster series as he pops off in every mode. In New York, reminding people they're a threat. No, and again, we talked about throughout qualifiers, number one rotation team. It just wasn't turning into points. But when they're finding the kills early, that is what it is going to lead to. Just a clean game. It allows people to get into their spots, read the spawns. It just allows the game to come easy to you. Yeah, I think like, you know, it looks like a little slay heavy at times. Like maybe not as focused on the objective. That's what happens, I think, when they give up some of those bad breaks. But when it is you know, kind of played how they want to, and they're not allowing people to get through. It's just this, like, constant lead that builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. And in map one, where they kind of allowed that sequence to happen, they allowed the break and able to chain together two and suddenly rally back, you know, it looked kind of like, all right, well, things fall apart there. But there was just, like, there wasn't that moment. There wasn't really ever that scary moment, or Hydra popped off if there was. Yeah, I think Vista plays, like, a little bit differently, where if you're playing true, for true. spawns, it, it can be away from the hill at times. True, just true. a way, sort of, the, the spawn works. Or something. Yeah, where... I think Rio, they definitely have to go back and figure out what happened because yeah. that's going to be a map they want in their arsenal for this tournament. But you get Hydra going 6,400 damage. He carries that momentum from game three where he goes on a 14 spree, shuts the door. And the fact is, a lot of times when, I mean, you're going to be playing ahead of people like that, you're going to be able to earn some scru cruises that might come into play and come up with a big moment. I know uh, not the best example there, but they definitely were leading the way when it talks about just getting streaks. Well, I guess it was the ghosty one there in the map one that ended up having the final lap, but that's all they're going to win is the map one, then three straight. Hydra, just an insane effort in the invasion, an insane effort in the Vista, and what he put up nine, I think, in the search and destroy as well. Really, once he 